Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildcraft and the Great Hunt, where our starry skies descended pride of lions are currently on the quest to reach level 50 so that we can begin to gather the moonstones from the powerful creatures who roam the lands. And we are here with Leonis, now leading the way for a moment. Let's see if he actually has the ability to level up. I think he does. Okay, yeah, everybody is actually leveled up, but we are here with Leonis, who has come with Celestial, his mate, and his son, Shadow, in order to go ahead. Is it? Yes, Shadow. I knew he Shadow touched, but I needed to double check. I was like, yeah, that's Shadow. And the young giraffe, Dixel, who currently has her cute little ears on so that she can try. Oh, and there's the giraffes in the background. How cool. Who has her cute little ears on so that she can try to find more of the shadow touched creatures who plague the land so that we can remove them and the shadow gods curse from the area. Uh, and today, oh, there's some food. All right, let's go ahead and go for this. But today, my friends, we have actually scouted to the very edges of our usual territory in the hopes that we will be able to hunt one of the savannah bosses. I think that we are going to be terribly outnumbered and it's going to be highly unlikely that we'll have a successful hunt of the boss, but it is something that the lion pride does want to at least try to set their strength against. Also, Dixel, was that one shadow touched? That was not a shadow touched uh, little boar but we'll be okay. All right, so we're gonna let Leonis lead so that he can try to get to at least level 25. Halfway there! <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh dear, and his shadows do look a little bit questionable. Hmm. Are we approaching where? All right, we need to go ahead and turn this direction in order to approach where the great master of the savannah may be over here. And we want to get our strength up, quite literally. So let's go ahead and do a quick hunt of these antelope. Normally not worth the effort of hunting because they are so fast and they're here right at the very edges of the land. Ooh, a zebra! That'll be really good because zebras, Celestial really loves to hunt. All right, we'll go ahead and get some more food. Dixel, was that one shadow touched? I'll roll my dice. I have a dice within a die, and if Dixel's special ability, because we give all of our pets special abilities, is if my dice within a dice, so I'm rolling two dice at once, has the same number uh, after we go ahead and consume the spirit energy of an animal, aka kill it and eat it, uh, then we get a bonus chest, but that one was not shadow touched. There we go. Level 25, we're halfway there. Oh, so exciting. It's gonna take a long while. That's why it is the great hunt, but we'll see. That one was shadow touch. That was a shadow touch zebra. Oh my gosh. All right. So it actually was shadow touched in a way that we get an epic chest now. Holy moly. I'm super excited about that. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right. <gasps> Whoa. Wow, look at this, this is so exciting. Okay, so we have a little bit of strength given to us from breaking the bond that the Shadow God had to this realm by taking out another one of his minions. And we have got another stunningly gorgeous rare Lynx skin. This is so fantastic. I really wanna go and visit with Skydancer and the Lynx family now because then we could have a lot of fun with some lovely new Lynxes. And we actually have eyes of the moon is what we're going to call those white eyes. So the wolves may actually be able to use those in order to communicate better with the starry skies ancestors and perhaps eventually communicate better with grabbing these wonderful transformation moonstones. I really want to see what they can do. All right, let's go ahead and level our boy Leonis up in power, strength, and health so that he can hopefully take on whatever this boss may be. I'm hopeful. We open oh, another lion. That's unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. These trees are amazing, but this lion is unacceptable. We do not allow interlopers like this into our territory. Let's get rid of him. There we go. All right. And we'll go ahead and see if he was shadow touched. And then there's actually the zebra behind us. And uh, ooh, a couple of warthogs down there. Quite a bit of food. The hunting over in this spot is really good. And that lion was not shadow touched. He was just trying to establish himself in our territory. 
that warthog was like just walking in the air. That was kind of adorable. All right. Oh, good, good, good. Becoming stronger with some of our lines now. Let's go ahead and eat up. There we go. Good warthogs. Good, good, good. All right, Leonis. He is becoming stronger a lot faster. Dixel, were either of those shadow touched? No. All right, and let's go back for the zebra, if it's still over here. Oh, <gasps> Cheetah! You guys think you can just come in? That's not the way this works. Now the Cheetah Clan is really kind of tricky to fight because they're extremely fast. They even attack faster, I think, which makes them quite a bit of a pain sometimes. All right, we're doing really good. Everybody is really zipping along. Oh man, I'm gonna just, we, we need to like have a big celebration when we hit level 30, cause that's gonna get us even closer. But I love watching the story unfold as we build our way up there. That's the truth of making this so fun and exciting, you guys, is just have the stories that bring you a lot of joy. Just go for it. Make them messy. They don't have to make sense right away. You can figure out how it all builds up. I mean, we have a giraffe who's wearing some cute little bunny ears to try to celebrate the arrival of a new cub that's going to be coming. Just do whatever makes you happy. All right. Did either of those two have... Oh, one of them actually had a shadow curse. I knew those cheetah were up to no good. It was a low level shadow curse, which is why we're using a normal chest. <gasps> but holy cow! Okay, so now we get another bed telling us to make sure that we can rest perhaps at our own den. And look at this! We have a really cool elemental mask for the bears! We haven't even started our bear family properly yet. This is amazing! Okay, that's really cool. I really, really, really like that. And then we have another contemplative crocodile. Hmm. So whatever shadow curse was here, I think had more to do with this elemental ability. So that might be really fun to give to one of our bears in the future. I don't know what we would do with it, but that would be really fun. And the other one was not shadow touched. I knew those cheetahs were up to no good. Ooh, big giant wildebeest. Let's get them. All right, let's see. It's fun how sometimes we, well, it's not really fun because every time we run into a shadow touched creature, you have to imagine the shadow god's forces are spreading through our savanna. But at the same time, it means bonus chest for defeating them, which is really fun. All right, was that one shadow touched? No, moving on, zebra. And then we should go ahead and see if we can face whatever the boss of the area is because we have been great hunting our way over towards him for quite a while and as a result we are missing one of our lions that we could actually have the lion cub though it would be kind of fun to raise two lion cubs at once that would actually be really exciting all right shadow curse for that one by the way nope all right more foggies oh there's another giraffe in the distance the giraffe are, are special. They can never be touched. They have a special force field around them called Ciri's Love of Giraffes <laughs> that prevents them from ever being hunted by any of our Starry Skies ancestors. All right, let's eat up, eat up. Almost level 26, nice. And then we'll take a little peek. Anything else that looks big and yummy? Nope. All right, we're establishing our dominance of this area. And, oh, we did actually have another shadow touch chest. What the heck? The shadow god's forces are moving in. At least it means we get bonus chest. <gasps> the beautiful Babo rare skin for crocodiles. Oh my gosh. And we have storage. So maybe that's saying to like catch and uh, like C-H, uh, C-A, uh, C-H-E, catch your food the way that many animals do lions don't do that they hunt fresh but um like leopards do catch their food squirrels catch their food by going cash cash their food by going ahead and putting them like inside of little hidden squirrel spots uh, a lot of other animals do chickadees do it too and i think crocodiles actually do it as well they'll go on a hunt 
they'll take their food and they actually sometimes will drag their food down to the bottom of the river and like shove it under rocks, which allows it to kind of rot better, which makes it easier for them to eat. I've heard that about crocodiles. I don't know if that's 100% true, but that is an interesting fact that would be worth looking into. So I think maybe this is thinking about the deep wisdom of the crocodiles, and perhaps we will visit with pebbles at some point, but not now. Right now, it's all about the lions. All right, and let's check anybody. Okay, Celestial can actually get more power and speed. Same with Shadow. And let's see. Anything else to hunt before we go ahead? Oh, there's a Warthog. Where is the boss? Oh, I missed him again. This way? Oh, there's two cheetah. I think? Can I, like... Okay. Okay, there's a boss right over here. Does that, like, put it down somewhere so I can find him? Maybe this way? I think he's right over there. Alright, let's take out these cheetah then. And then we might be able to at least look at the boss. Oh, these cheetah are really strong! Are they protecting the big boss? Holy cow, maybe they are. All right, attack, attack, roar, attack. Those are some really strong cheetah, oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad we managed to take them out. Let's go ahead and get the food from them. We'll check to see if they're shadow touched. We've had some really good luck with shadow touch today. If you can call being cursed by the shadow god, good luck. And I think, let's see, no and no. I think this is the boss, but the giraffe's watching on to see if our strength is enough. Oh, it's a rhinoceros. Oh my gosh, I don't think that guy would move too fast. Let's try it, you guys. That's what we're here for. I'm gonna go ahead and actually have shadow, I think. Should I have him lead the way? Let's level up our boy Leonis. Shadow's the weakest, but he also doesn't have as much health. I think we're gonna go ahead and let Celestial try to take the lead. Let's do this. A level 120, are you kidding me? This isn't happening, but we're gonna at least give it a try. Okay, that guy's not even. Not even phased! Do you see this thing? Okay, to the giraffes, to the giraffes, maybe they'll protect us. Okay, it's not even worth roaring. It's truly not even worth roaring. Help me, rocks! Oh no! Did he van- oh man! Okay, he vanished. <laughs> Level 120, are you kidding me? <laughs> that is not going to be able to happen. Oh, man. And I think the giraffes backed off so that, like, I think they made it so that he backed off and, like, tried to protect us. Okay, that's immensely beyond our capabilities at the moment. I think we have learned a deep and painful lesson. But I think Dixel's saying, with her giraffe, uh, family watching on that what we should do now is head back and have the young cub that we have been carrying for quite a while now and Raise that cub to strength so that the pack will begin to become or the pride will begin to become much larger And perhaps we will go ahead and we will see what we can do with the ancient moose again We'll start there and maybe build our way up to this kind of boss with our lions. Holy cow But all right guys well on that note, let's go back to the den and let us bring our blessings from the starry skies ancestors upon the family. We will begin with Leonis. Let's see what he has earned today. So many chests, we've gotten a lot of stuff lately. <gasps> oh, yay! I think we can have another family of the crocodiles, which makes me very happy. So two out of 12 families, uh, I think that's how that works. And Leonis has actually been given Perhaps a reminder of the ancient powers of the family tree, encouragement to have more kids, and perhaps a glimpse of the future. His first son was wreathed in shadows, but what will happen to his next child? Will they have eyes or will they have skin of shadows? We'll have to see. 
For Celestial, she's gonna go ahead and have Blessing from the Ancestors. <laughs> it's a tiny hat for the pig again. Okay. We have some duplicates. I think Celestial's just being told to rest and think about cute things uh, because she's excited about her new cub. And because we have the unnamed puppy that Shadow actually has as his own, and we got a pet item, we can open up a bonus chest once that the puppy is now bringing to us. And the puppy has brought more rest, so I think he was resting at home and having a good time. Strength and green eyes, so he was probably watching the grass and the trees while we were gone hunting for the eagles. So that's really adorable. I love the idea that the puppy has to stay at the den because he's just too small, too cute. Shadow doesn't want him to get eaten. And speaking of Shadow, let's go ahead and see what Shadow's blessing from the ancestors is today. Ooh, cheetahs! Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, so he actually has a resting ability for the cheetahs. He has some elixir for the pets, but we've already gone ahead and the puppy just brought us something, so that's okay. So I think he's being told to watch the cheetahs a little bit better. There's something about Shadow and the cheetahs that we have going on here. But all right, guys. Thank you all so much for joining us on this adventure today. If you would like to follow along on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.